Hey, would you like to know how to schedule a Zoom meeting that also has a link that people can just click on and join the meeting so that they don't have to copy and paste the meeting ID or the password in order to join your Zoom meeting? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that on your phone and then I'm gonna show you how to do it on a computer and that video is gonna start right now. Hey everybody, my name is Sean Seymour and I do videos about technology and about photography and some stuff that's cool, some stuff that's frustrating, or maybe just some stuff that's new. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can schedule a Zoom meeting on your phone and on your computer. And instead of just having credentials that somebody has to copy and paste in order to join in your meeting, I'm gonna show you how you can do it as a calendar invite that just has a click on link that makes it very, very easy for people to join your meeting just by pressing the link and bam, they're in your meeting and they don't have to do a lot of copying and pasting. Why is this important? Because if you have people that are joining your Zoom meetings but they're not sitting at a desk like I am right now but maybe they're on the road or they're trying to join from their phone, it's really difficult to copy and paste a meeting ID and password so that you can join the meeting. So let's hop on the phone right now. I'll show you how to do that. Then I'm gonna show you how to do it on a computer. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is open up Zoom on your phone. Now, if you don't have an account, it's very easy to create one. Just give them an email address, put your name in, and you're done. You can get to this screen by clicking on meet and chat down at the bottom. Next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and touch on schedule. And you notice that I get schedule a meeting. Well, let's schedule this meeting. We're going to call it IT check-in. And it's going to start today at four o'clock, but you can literally put in any time that you want just by touching on that and scrolling up and down. You can create a duration. Time zone is obvious. And you can also have this be a reoccurring meeting. Now calendar is where you're going to push it to whatever calendar is your default calendar on your phone. Don't worry about that. Just go ahead and select whatever calendar it is. And then one of the things that I would suggest is you go ahead and hit the advanced option at the very, very bottom and you allow participants to join before the host. What this does is if somebody actually joins early, which is a good idea usually if you're trying to join a company meeting, it allows them to come into the meeting and sit there and wait for the host to come into the meeting. Okay, so we've got everything we need there. Let's go back to the top and click save. What you will see is a new event is going to be opened up in your calendar. At the very, very top, it says IT check-in. There's the URL for the Zoom meeting. You'll see the start and stop, travel time, all the rest of that. Here at calendar is where you can choose the calendar that you want it to go to. So my home calendar is not where I want it to go to. I would prefer that it went to my Google calendar. Everything looks good. Down at the very, very bottom, you'll see join Zoom meeting, and that's the hyperlink that people will click on, and that can hit add. Next thing I'm gonna do is I need to go over to my calendar, and from my calendar, I'm gonna click on the meeting, and now, this is where I can go ahead and I can edit the meeting and I can invite attendees. Of course, you're not gonna see any of my attendees because these are all email addresses of people that I know. Okay, so what does that look like for the people that you are inviting? They'll open their calendar, they'll click on the Zoom meeting, and the cheat button is right at the top where it says join. You can also share this meeting right up at the top. If that doesn't work, you can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and you can use the URL. The URL is also a live URL, so you can just click on it and you can gain access that way. And bam, look at that. Now they get to choose how they're gonna join the meeting and based on their settings, they will join the meeting. You can, in your settings, by the way, you can turn off the audio or the video to start and then you can manipulate it at the bottom down here during the meeting. You notice that mine is not muted but I'm gonna mute it and I don't start with video. Okay that's a very very easy way to do it from your phone. Trick to that is first create the meeting as a scheduled meeting, add it to any calendar that's your default calendar on your phone and then you can go into your calendar and then you can invite people from there to join your meeting. One of the reasons that I like to use the calendar invite method is because I don't like sharing all of my contact information with Zoom. So Zoom does have a way that you can do this automatically. You can send out invites if you're willing to share all your contact info with Zoom. But I personally like to keep it to the calendar invite. That way I have my contacts only on my phone or on my computer and it's not being shared with Zoom. Okay, let's hop on the computer and I'll show you how you can do this from any web browser. So go ahead and open any web browser that you want and go to zoom.us. You'll see that this Zoom screen 
screen comes up, you'll need to also log in using your login for Zoom. Now, if we want to go and we want to create a meeting, we're going to go over here to the right hand side where it says schedule a meeting. Once I click on schedule a meeting, you'll notice that I get some things that come up, obviously some ads because this is a free account. We'll do ops check in. We're going to schedule it today, five o'clock. Obviously this is free for me, so I'm going to have to make sure that uh, as a business I would upgrade, but for right now I'm not worried about it. It's not a reoccurring meeting. We're going to generate the meeting ID automatically show options this is where we want to allow participants to join any time and save once i save that it allows me to go ahead and create an invite on any calendar that i want let's use the outlook calendar and you notice down here in the corner it is now downloaded the meeting invite for me right now my mac is using the i calendar as its default i can hit ok and suddenly look at that there's the meeting we've got our hyperlink up here and we've got the join right there okay just to show you that this actually works works. So here's my invite. I can click on join meeting. As long as you have Zoom installed on your computer, it will go ahead and open Zoom up just like that. I am now in the Zoom meeting. Okay, that's how you create a Zoom invite from either your phone or from your computer that has a link that allows people to just click on it. Plus you can schedule it on your calendar and makes it super easy for people to get reminders. Hey, well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You know how to subscribe, I hope. And if not, do it anyway. And the bell notification will give you a notification next time I have a video out. In the meantime, my friend, make lots of Zoom meetings, but make them super easy for people to join. <laughs> so the best thing to do and the most courteous thing to do is to not call me in the middle of a video. Hi, Mom. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> okay, let me call you back in three minutes. Lord Jesus! Is that not the funniest thing in the world? <laughs>